I had a visitor come into my office and on spying all the ducks on my bookshelves says, aren't you worried about the phthalates? Interesting question. Well, I do collect ducks of all kinds. I have ducks that are made of wood. I have uh, ducks that are made of ceramic. I have ducks that uh, are made of material. I have ducks that are made of brass. And I even have some real rubber ducks. This guy is made of rubber. As opposed to ducks that are made of PVC, polyvinyl chloride, even though people call them rubber ducks, but they're not. Different material. And that brings up the whole idea of the phthalates. What are they? Well, this guy is made of polyvinyl chloride, PVC, and as you can see, flexible. But actually, polyvinyl chloride is a hard material. Hard. How do you convert a hard plastic into a flexible one? By adding what we call plasticizers. Those are the phthalates. And therein lies the question that was raised. Why? Because phthalates are ubiquitous in our environment. They're used in all kinds of plastic. Those shower curtains are made flexible by the use of, of phthalates. Floor tiles made of PVC are made flexible with phthalates. And believe it or not, we all have phthalates in our bloodstream because they are ubiquitous in the environment. And that brings up a concern because when you go into the laboratory, you can carry out studies and show that these phthalates are endocrine disruptors. That is, they can interfere with hormone levels. Indeed, there was even a study that showed that people who have higher levels of phthalates in their blood are more likely to meet their maker earlier. Of course, you have to be very careful with those kind of studies because that's an association, cannot prove a cause and effect relationship. For example, we do know that there are more drownings uh, in the summer and people eat more ice cream in the summer. So one can conclude that ice cream causes drownings. Of course it doesn't, that's just an accidental association. It's obvious why there are more drownings and more ice cream in the summer. So just because people have more phthalates in their blood and may die earlier doesn't mean it is due to the phthalates. It might be that they have higher levels of phthalates because they eat more processed foods, which is packaged in plastics that have phthalates. So anyway, that's complicated. Uh, but uh, it's just an interesting sort of association. It doesn't mean that we should disregard the whole business about endocrine disruption and phthalate. That's very real. We need to do more research into that. All right, now why the question if I should be worried? Because phthalates, some of them are volatile and they get into the air. So conceivably they can be inhaled. But actually, I'm not all that concerned. Why? because most of the troublesome phthalates, like diethyl hexophthalate, have been replaced by safer ones. And furthermore, uh, the amount that would evaporate from my little duckies would be insignificant. So no, I don't think I'm being harmed by my duckies. Uh, I think actually there's more harm the quacks can do to people. And uh, I have uh, all of these ducks, and, you know, some others as well that constantly remind me of the need to fight quackery. So there's the answer to the question about whether or not I'm worried about the phthalates in my ducks. No, I am worried, though, about the quacks out there doing harm to people. And I'm glad to have my duckies to remind me of the need to battle them.